So then finally we're going to look what happens when the second half of the cycle is injected in the amplifier. So now the input swings negative uh, down to minus 3 millivolts. And we pass that as a change in voltage. It passes through the capacitor and by the potential divider it goes onto the base of the transistor. The transistor of course is already on by the potential divider bias but the voltage now at the base is going to reduce slightly. So the transistor will turn off just a little bit which will mean the reduction in current through the base which also then translates to a large reduction in current through the collector so the signal is transferred through to the collector. This reduction in current, so the, the valve, if you like, the transistor is now being turned off. So the pressure here is raised as the resistance between here and here now becomes higher as the transistor begins to turn off. So the voltage here will raise, which will be translated into a positive part of the cycle coming out of the amplifier, which will be passed again through the capacitor. So that's the input and output of the audio amplifier and the two things to make note of are the amplification so we've gone from a signal that used to uh, be 6 millivolts peak to peak to a signal that is now 6 volts peak to peak so uh, we've got some substantial amplification there the frequency remains the same at 1 kilohertz but the other noteworthy point is of course that the phase has changed uh, and the waveform is now upside down, so the positive half going half has now become negative and vice versa. So the signal has been inverted and those are the two key characteristics to make note of with a single stage audio amplifier.